Mississippi and Washington County have always been great supporters of the arts of all kinds. We have a rich history of literature and writers here. We have a rich history of music. And with the Greenville Arts Council, which serves all of Washington County, we have developed an incredible, rich visual arts um, history. So every month, or every other month, we have these amazing exhibits here in the Roger Malkin Gallery. The Greenville Arts Council and the events that they host and foster have become melting pots for Greenville. It's, it's Bass, E.E. E. Bass, where all, many of these events are held, is a place where everybody in the community feels comfortable coming and where everybody loves getting together. And so we have been so blessed to have that. In addition to these incredible exhibits that we have here, the Arts Council sponsors after school events for children and workshops for adults. And E.E. E. Bass even houses its own resident metal sculptor. So we have got artists working in this building. We have got people coming in and out to see what we have to offer. And I could not be more proud of what the Greenville Arts Council has done for Greenville and for Washington County. And I look forward every time I get a, a message from them about what the next thing is gonna be. So it's ex extremely exciting. I didn't mention the theater. Uh, Delta Center Stage is one of the best theaters in the state of Mississippi. Non-equity, all volunteer actors, and they are award-winning, prize-winning group, and they put on fabulous plays, and as soon as we get out of this pandemic, they're gonna be putting on more. So I um, can't wait to see them. It's a great variety. It, it's welcoming, it, they make a great effort to include works that appeal to all different aspects of our community, and that is one of the strengths, I think, of Greenville and of, of the theater and of our art. I'm Will Coppage, I'm the Executive Director of the Washington County Economic Alliance. And arts in Greenville might not necessarily be seen as an economic development project, but actually arts promotes prosperity and quality of place. And so when I'm out there attracting industry here and we're visiting and seeing the, the downtown vibrant with, with arts and culture, we see the identity of a community. We, we see the power boxes here painted with multiple colors and scenes depicting our culture and identity. We see the river and all that it's brought with arts and music and, and the Delta Blues. And we see a nightlife that's vibrant of, of music and storytelling. And that's how we know here that it's just a live environment. And again, there's a deep-rooted identity that flows through our culture. And that's why people, when they choose Greenville, they say, it's the art, it's the people, it's the storytelling. We have great amenities here, such as the Greenville Arts Council, Delta Center Stage, Main Street Greenville. All of these are here working together in economic development that are helping us attract industry. And then one major element here is that artists whether musicians, whether they are um, uh, woodworkers, whether sculptors or painters, these are entrepreneurs. And these entrepreneurs are out there adding to the tax base, adding to the jobs and making a name for themselves. And, and one day, not only are they working in their homes, but then they start a business and working in the storefronts and continuing and attracting more. And that's why for myself and my office, it is so important to have arts in the community. And Greenville is where arts is alive and growing. You know, when we think of arts helping out the economies, we, we think a lot of these giant museums, but, but actually there was a study done in 2015 with the National Endowment of the Arts, and what it found out was that, that arts contributed to the economies of, of states that had a 30% over rural population, over, you know, $67.5 million. And that's huge when we think of Mississippi and the Delta and more specifically, Washington County and Greenville. And again, that's why when we think of arts and we think of our culture and our identity, we know that we're thriving here in Washington County. My name is Tim Bixler. I am the executive director of Delta Center Stage, the one employee chief cook and bottle washer of the local community theater. Uh, we were asked today to, to uh, comment on uh, the value of the arts in the community uh, in which we live. Uh, I had a little chance to think about that, about what to say here, and 
it occurred to me that uh, sometimes, especially in a small community, you tend to wonder what is really the most valuable thing, the most valuable asset. Let's say that a smaller community like Greenville, like most areas in the Delta, and a lot of Mississippi, um, they're not uh, metropolitan areas. So what is the value uh, to the community that makes the community worth more? Uh, and you can't deny that uh, the existence of culture within a community, the existence of a unique culture within a community uh, is an almost invaluable asset, particularly to a small community. Uh, if when you think about it, uh, what, what adds value to a community if you're going to promote it? Uh, good roads, sure, but that's not sexy. <laughs> if you can add the existence of a vibrant culture, a vibrant practice of the arts and uh, the arts and the crafts, if you will, if there's a, if there's a vibrant uh, uh, extracurricular activity uh, component to a community, that's where the value is. And so much of that relates to what goes on in the arts. Uh, here in Greenville, uh, in the small community we're at, we're, we're living in, uh, you can become a potter if you like, you can take pottery lessons, you can take painting lessons from, a, from a, an accomplished artist. Uh, you can learn how to act <laughs> if you like. Uh, you can learn how to practice so many of the different uh, uh, disciplines that are within the arts and you get the chance to do so at a very high level. And that I think is one of the greatest values uh, that Greenville, Mississippi can bring to its uh, inhabitants. My name is Wesley Smith. I'm the executive director of the Greenville, Washington County Convention and Visitors Bureau, uh, the tourism office basically. And my wife and I have long supported the, the arts in Greenville and, and Mississippi. It's important to where we live. It's important for our quality of life and our own citizens. Uh, and it's important to have a, a vibrant community. Uh, if you want a community that takes off, we need to continue to invest in the arts. Um, from a tourism point of view, um, what we export from Mississippi is culture. Music, the visual arts, uh, literature, the list is very long. Um, and what we import, what we get in return from that, among other things, is tourism. People around the world are fascinated uh, with the culture of Mississippi and its history and the great music and art that have come from it. And, and those folks visit from around the world. Um, here at the Greenville Arts Council at the E.E. Bass Building, we host thousands of tourists every year, um, a lot from the river boats up and down the uh, Mississippi River. And it's great. It's, they love coming here, and of course we love to host them. Um, but it makes an economic impact uh, as well. So on the local level and the regional level uh, and the state level, um, we all need to support the arts and, and support the organizations that make sure the art lives and thrives and, and moves ahead. Good afternoon, I'm Eleanor Wright, the director for the Greenville Arts Council. And what art means to our community and our county. To me, art is a unification. It builds a community. When you walk in the door at E.E. E. Bass with the Greenville Arts Council, you open a door to options and opportunity. It doesn't matter if you are a two-year-old child taking dance or if you're an adult taking an art workshop. We've got all types of art. We have dance, we have theater, we have pottery, we have you name it and we will help find it or promote it. But for me, the art in our community unifies everything. Arts don't see age, they don't see demographics, and they do not see financial standing. So when you walk in this building, everybody's on the same playing floor. And that, to me, helps build a community. Be it at Delta Center Stage, which we umbrella. Be it the Delta Children's Museum. We have one of only 200 of, you're gonna have to, alter that one. We have a, a carousel, one of only two in the United States that's 120 years old and we're going to have a big birthday party for it. We also have the original boat and pony ride from the original Steinmark downtown. We are a community that stays together. The Mississippi Delta has always been this way. We have members 
from Bolivar County, Issaquina, Humphrey, Sharkey, Sunflower, and Chico, Arkansas. People come from all over the Delta. If you offer it, they will come. And we thank you so much for every bit of help and support, and especially for being so supportive for the last year during COVID. Thank you.